Hello, welcome back. This is Calculus by Dr. Oz. Today we're going to talk about another application, another cool application of uh, power series. So we have uh, the function uh, arc uh, tangent x. What we're going to do today is first, we're going to write down the power series expansion of arc 10x centered, at, uh, centered around zero. And, and what we're going to do next is not to estimate any function value, but we're going to estimate uh, the integrals involving arc tan x and and arc tan x squared in this case. Okay, so um, yeah, in the first part uh, we have arc tan x squared. So in the second part we have x squared arc tan x. So to achieve our goal, what we're going to do is that for each integrand we are going to find a, a different uh, power series by using the power series of arc tan x. Okay, so we need first we need uh, the power series of arc tan x, and we're going to find that first. And hopefully, at the end of the day, uh, we're going to have good approximations of these integrals with the error not more than ten to the minus three. Okay, again, we're not really approximating a function value, but an integral value by the power of uh, power uh, series. All right, I have one video for uh, each sub-question, so let's get started. All right, um, let's start. So first of all, we need the power series of arc 10x uh, for us to, uh, to use it uh, in the description here. As you see, we have arc 10x squared and I have arc 10x here. Um, and we're going to do the integration uh, later on, but 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 first of all, let's start uh, using the uh, the power series uh, of uh, the geometric series as I uh, mentioned earlier. So you have a over one minus r is in fact equal to this geometric series. The sum of that, in fact, is equal to um, a over one minus r. Obviously, the absolute value of r um, has to be uh, less than one. Okay. So that's that's one important thing here that we have to pay attention. All right. Okay. So uh, what am I going to do next? Well, uh, first of all, here is the first observation. R tan, R tan x has the derivative uh, one over uh, one plus x squared. And the reason why uh, I write the derivative of R tan x is just simply because. Uh, 1 over 1 plus x squared is of the form a over 1 minus r. In fact, I can I can rewrite that as like 1 over 1 minus minus x squared. So this way I can convert uh, 1 over 1 plus x squared into uh, the power series representation. Okay, a equals 1, r being a negative x squared. So that's negative x squared uh, to the power of n. Okay. And in fact, I can simplify that further. It's minus one to the n, um, minus one to the n, x to the power of two n. Okay, I split the alternation from the x part, okay? That's good because we have now the power series of the derivative of arc tan x. That means if I integrate that, if I integrate the power series, I should get back to the power series of arc tan x, okay? So integration, so we're looking at the antiderivative. I'm going to put the C back here. Plus, I'm going to do like term by term integration. Okay, term by term integration. So that takes us to x to the uh, power of 2n plus 2 uh, divided by, sorry, 2n plus 1 divided by 2n plus 1. We're just using the power rule for integration. Okay. All right, so, um, and then what is C here? Well, C can be found by plugging in uh, 0 for x, and you can, you can get C to be exactly equal to 0, because left-hand side is 0, right-hand side is C plus 0, so there you go. So let me just uh, clean this part and, and rewrite this. So we have now uh, the power series representation of, uh, of the arctangent function, okay? So, well, uh, in, the, in the problem statement, we have arc tan x squared. So we can also uh, write that down here, that this is n from 0 to infinity. It's just substitution of x squared instead of um, 
uh, x. So x to the 4n plus 2 divided by 2n plus 1 would be the power series uh, representation of uh, arctan uh, x squared. All right, so I rewrote that. So um, going back to the question statement, uh, we were asked to find the integral uh, of arctan x squared uh, from 0 to uh, 3 over 4. So I'm going to do this, um, 0 to uh, 3 quarters. Okay. Arctan x squared um, dx. That means I'm going to do the integration in the power series side as well. So integral from 0 to 3 over 4. Uh, the series, okay, the power series minus 1 to the n x to the power of 4n plus 2 divided by 2n plus 1 dx. Okay. All right, so uh, what am I going to do next? Uh, well, we're going to do term by term uh, integration first, and, and, and we won't have any integrating constant here, so, uh, but instead, uh, we have a definite integral, we have the limits of the integration, so let's do it. So we're going to do integration uh, term by term, minus 1 to the power of n, uh, let's see, x to do uh, 4n plus 3, divided by um, 2n plus 1, 4n plus 3, okay? All right, so this should be uh, evaluated at 0 and 3 quarters. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to write this infinite series for x equals 3 over 4. Okay, 2n plus 1 and 4n plus 3, okay? And then this is me plugging in 3 over 4. What happens if I plug in 0 for x? Well, uh, the first item here starts from x cubed, right? When n equals 0, uh, when n equals 1, 2, 3, and on and on and on. It's all x-related terms, and when you plug in x, they're all going to be 0, okay? So the lower limit is spitting out uh, zero. All I need to do is to know what this sum looks like. And now uh, this is uh, supposed to be the value of this uh, integral uh, here. Uh, so this is represented by the infinite series, okay? So what I'm gonna do next, since I have an alternating series and I want, uh, I want to approximate uh, the integral by that, so uh, with the error uh, less than 10 to the minus 3. So you can use the alternating series remainder theorem, okay? Um, and and, and, and in, the, in the remainder theorem, it states that S minus Sn is in fact Rn, and in the absolute value, okay? We want this to be less than 10 to the minus 3, but Rn is just a n plus 1. And who is a n? Well, we call this whole chunk here, okay, we call this whole chunk here um, a n, okay? So essentially, the place where I cut off and, and get the approximation for, the very immediate term, which is a n plus 1, uh, tells us what the error looks like, okay? Now, one thing you can do here is that you can actually list a few terms here. So you can look at n equals 1. So let me just write that down to you, to you, but you can pause the video anytime and you can check that by yourself. Uh, 2187, uh, uh, 344, uh, 064, and, and eventually this 147 divided by 230. Some part of that is trial error, obviously, but um, you look at essentially, uh, you just uh, list a few terms and, and whenever you get a term less than uh, less than negative uh, 10 to the negative 3, then then this sum is a good approximation. Okay, and in this in this case, this number, the last term, which is the this is like a1, uh, a2, uh, and a3. So a3 turns out to be less than uh, uh, 10 to the minus 3. 
So that means that this sum here, which is S2, so this is R2, so this is R2 less than 10 to the minus 3, okay? So S2 is a very good approximation of, uh, of the infinite series here. And for that reason, the value of that would be a very good approximation of the integration here. And, and what is the summation of that? So let me just write that down for you. Uh, so the summation of the first two terms, only first two terms, a1 plus a2, let me just uh, write with a different color, that is equal to 0. Uh, 0.134. So, and then this, this result is correct up to uh, 10 to the minus 3. All right? I'm going to move on to part B, but that's going to be another video. Please watch the next video for uh, part B.